Hello and thanks for joining me for another video beer review then. Um, so pretty much bar one or two, by the time I put this out I'm not sure where it's going to be before or after. Um, pretty much done all the Oktoberfest beers, fest beers that I wanted to do. So this is going to be my first beer into the styles of Doppelbox and this is, I'm not going to go into the whole name because I can't pronounce it, so uh, Shankerla Doppelbock. Yeah, 8% ABV then, uh, 40 IBUs, and yeah, I've had this once before, last last year at a bottle share, um, we shared about four bottles between about eight of us, so I didn't get much, uh, you know, of a try, um, and this is actually my first uh I say my first, it's, it's my first actual bottled beer from this brewery that I've come to review. So, Shankarla, there's the crown. Pretty cool looking crown there. Some dude with a big old pint pot. Um, so these guys are out of Bamberg in Germany. Just I was just trying to get everything sorted out. So, Shankarla, historic smoked beer brewery in the middle of the old part of Bamberg directly beneath the mighty cathedral uh, one can find the smoked beer uh, brewery Shankerla first mentioned in 1405 um, as a house of the blue iron and now run by the the Trum family in the sixth generation this is the foundation of An 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 Ankara Shankerla Roche beer um, original Shankerla smoke beer, which I have actually got downstairs in the fridge. Anyway, leave that's part of the brewery, so uh, let's crack it open then. Um, I purchased this one at Beer Merchants, so uh, I'm not sure if it's still available at the time of recording on the 25th of September of 2020, but go and check it out. All the links are down below. So, 500ml bottle, then 8% ABV, best before August of 2021. Um, that's it, let's crack on with it. Where's the bottle opener? There it is. Bit of smoke on the opening. Um, so, knowing I'm getting Romans ready, um, what's the proper glassware? Not too sure. I'm going for one of these because I want to really enhance that kind of aroma. Um, you know. The smokiness of it so we're just gonna pour it straight into this I'm really looking forward to this one oh look at the color of that we'll leave it like that for now but look at that let me just uh, bump off a few bubbles there we still got a bit in the bowl but yeah Beautiful looking beer, mahogany, clean, half a finger of lightly tan coloured head. Wow, that looks proper. It's like a, that that kind of um, dark ruby mar marble floor kind of look to it. Wow, that's that's beautiful looking beer in the glass. Nicely fine tightly packed bubbles there look at the quality in that awesome stuff let's get an aroma I can smell it already but let's get a proper aroma wow I mean it's a combination of very aromatic wood shavings that you can get on the floor of some kind of uh, smoke houses, craft beer bars here in the UK. I associate it more with American smoke houses. Not that I've been to America, but I've been to American style here. In I think I went to one in Manchester. And it just reminded me of that. Oh, it's so kind of oh, just not the old camera. Apologies. Yeah, the smokiness in this is, um, it reminds me, I mean, you, you, I mean, there's several ways you can take the, the smoky aroma of this. 
One I'd say is uh, Bonfire Night. Here in the UK, it'll say the 5th of December. But another is um, Smoked Fish, uh, smoke, Smoked Mackerel, Smoked Herring, that kind of thing. Whatever way you want to picture it in your mind, the smokiness is absolutely at the forefront of the aroma. Beyond that, you're not getting very much. But very kind of autumnal, um, bonfire, as I've already said. Almost like smoked barbecue. It's just beautiful. Maybe a little bit of meaty briskness. What an aroma. Seriously, one of the one of the best aromas for a beer I've probably ever actually had on camera, but within a, a completely different style to just fruity esters, hoppiness, and all that kind of carry on. Wow, just absolutely wowness. So, yes, I've had this once before. That was two years ago. Let's give it a try on the review. Anyway. Prost. Cheers. Come on now. Oh, what a contrast to a beer flavour, you know? That is amazing. That is absolutely that is stunning I mean I don't know where, where you you know I'll put it into context depends where you are with your flavoured not flavoured but your taste buds within beer right This is not for the average. I mean, I'm 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 average, so you know that 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 kind of knocks that one into touch straight away. Um, if you're used to lagers and stuff, and and you know a bit of hoppy beer and all that sort of thing, that's fine. This is something completely different. And it's even got the oak leaves and acorns. I've just noticed that on the actual bottle. So definitely a, an autumnal kind of feel to the beer for a start. Let me just pour the rest of this in and try and generate some of this just off white head again. This beer is absolutely amazing. All right, a bit pricey. It's around about the five pound mark for a for a for a five hundred mil bottle. I knew what I was buying. I've had it before. Um, there's lots of things that play into beer. So if you're in the states, yeah, I, mean, I don't know what you get this for this in the states, um, but it's probably around about what the six fifty, six dollars fifty mark, maybe seven dollars max um, for a five hundred mil bottle. It's a bit pricey, yeah. Um, but oh my word, if you can get this in the States, just go and get it. If you've never had it before, especially, just go and get it, seriously. Very smooth. There's like a sweet smokiness to it. I don't know what kind of wood esters this is giving off. It reminds me to a degree of... It's difficult, isn't it? You don't, I mean, I don't eat wood, you know, from trees. Very clean. Oh, that, that, that The smoky esters on this beer is just off the chain really is oh my word <sighs> I have no idea how to actually describe that, that, that there is a smokiness to it which is obvious 
but there's also a deep, rich, woody kind of ester to the beer. That is absolutely amazing. Um, everything's in German. Everything is German. Um, Shankerla.de is the website. There's nothing on the bottle there. Let's go to um, Untapped and see what they say. Um, so it says here, following century old recipes, all malts made at the Shankerla brewery are dried by wood fire um, for the classic uh, Shankerla ranch beer, traditionally beech wood. I thought it was beech wood, but here we go. Beech has been and still is used. Uh, the malt for Shankerla oak smoke is kilned with oak wood. Yeah, oak and beech are the wood varietals involved in that that kind of ester. The, the, and it's still literally residual smokiness on the palate, even like a minute after I've actually tried the beer. Um, sorry about this, this is going to be a longer review because, you know, it's a really kind of complex beer. There's a bit of information about it, so we're going to roll with it. Still, still shorter than James's review, though. But you know what I'm saying. Love you, James. So, so here we go. So, resulting the old oak smoke malt has a smoother and more uh, uh, layered smoke note than the intense aromatic beech smoke malt. Uh, hence the complex and smokiness in the Shinkala oak smoke, uh, smoke, smoke uh, pe uh, is paired with um, bitterness with the finest Halatel aroma hops um, with 8% alcohol and amber and colour matures for months in the deep brewery cellars underneath the Bamberg, underneath Bamberg in, into a, a special treat for smoked beer lovers for Christmas. So brewed for Christmas i tell you what, this beer in the UK, brewed for bonfire night, it's just got that, that feel of it for me, um, horse chestnuts, there is a slight nutty edge, you know, autumn leaves, bonfire night, perfect bonfire night, although it's brewed originally for Christmas in, in, in Germany, in Bamberg, um, absolutely bonfire night. What a wonderful, wonderful beer. Mm. It just it just works for me. Um, I'm ready to give my my rating on this one. Um, this is absolutely fantastic, and I've still got some beer left in there. No, I haven't. I thought I did. There we go, told you I had beer. In terms of rating for me then on this um, Shankerla, uh, what are they calling it? Because I'm an idiot. Yeah, the Doppelbock. I can't pronounce all, all the others' names, top and bottom, but yeah. Shankerla Doppelbock uh, Roch beer. 8% ABV, 40 IBUs. I'm not getting the, the, the bitterness on it either. Um, this is a 9 out of 10 beer, so it's a 4.5 on the old untapped scale for me. This is fantastic. Over to untapped then, this has had 40,435 total check-ins then. It's had 178 in the last 30 days. It's had 30,608 total ratings of this beer there. It's coming at 3.72, which... I think that's a bit low. It's, it's not quite seven and a half out of ten, um, but whatever. It, you know, beer subjective. But for me, if you like smoked beers, this is absolutely amazing. Um, Nine out of ten all day long. Four point five on the untapped scale. So, yeah, let me know if I've had this one before. Um, or if you haven't, try and pick it up. It's absolutely phenomenal. And if you're a lover of 
double box and you never had this, come on now, sort it out. Um, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it if you got this far in the review, I know it's a longer review, um, but yeah, I really do appreciate everyone watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, that'd be, that'd be very nice of you. Um, hope you're all keeping safe out there, that's the main thing. Uh, again, thanks for watching, keep safe. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.